Hey guys, Apple SDK Dev here. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to make an app similar to Pappy Jump or Doodle Jump or any of those things. So basically what I'm going to do is go ahead and open my Xcode, as you guys should have by now. I'm just going to be opening up something just like a test right there. Uh, I've already made it before, so I'm not actually going to be writing this code for you. Just take your time. But if you do want to, I put the whole entire source code right below. You'll find all of the code, images, and anything else you'll need. You'll have the um, interface builders, the code. You'll have all that. But basically, I'm just going to show you the interface builder for this project. So if you follow me, I'm just going to go into my simple game view controller. All right, here we are. We're back into Interface Builder. The first thing we want to do is, I hope by now you have pasted in your images. Some of the things you're going to need is, you're going to need a bunch of platforms. You can either make those your own, or you can find it down there below. You're going to need some kind of a ball or a player to be jumping around. And you're also going to need a background or anything else you want. So, just for right now, I got some background. I'm going to have to drag this in. And I'm going to make an outlet. And I'm going to send that over, and that's going to be my background, background number one. Okay, the next thing I'm going to have to do is bring in some, uh, just some, like, uh, little bodies, or some platforms. So maybe, well, in my case, the different platforms, as you can see, this one has a plus, this one has a minus. For me, the minus ones are going to be, you jump on it once, and then it falls, and the plus ones will stay. So I'm going to drag in, uh, let's go with two pluses. Two pluses is a good number. Uh, we'll give two minuses yeah that sounds fine and let's throw in a blue plus that one will make it so it's an extra big bounce okay so now what we're gonna do is hold down command and click all of them this way we have them all selected and that way we can change the dimensions of them let's just go right here change from center to scale to fit that way we can choose the sizes exactly ourselves now let's move around and just try and find out a good size let's just put in 50 by 50 for now Oh, oops, I guess we didn't select them all. Okay, there we go. Whoa. 50 by 50. Alright, that's a little tall. Let's change the height to like 28-ish. Maybe a little bit wider, 65. 65 by 28, yeah, that's a good one. So now we're going to position them across the screen. Let's um, just put this blue one up there. Uh, let's put this one right there. We can start out with a plus, just in case, uh, just so you can get the hand, hang of it. We'll put some minuses. So we'll put that there. Alright, that's good. By the end of this, you should have about eh, five platforms is good. The ball will definitely be high enough to bounce for those. And remember, make this one special, because this is going to be the one that bounces very high. Alright, next we're going to have to do, move this over so we can actually make these work. So once you've clicked on that and highlighted it, Go to the referencing outlet, send that one to platform 1. We'll make this one platform 2. This one platform 3. This one platform 4. And this one platform 5. Now remember that, especially for this one that's different, because it's going to give us a higher bounce. We have to remember the one that we named that. So for us, just make sure you guys can remember that, Platform 5. So we'll go back and fix that one later. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have to make some um, buttons for our menus. So let's go down here. Let's get four of these little guys. One, two, three. Oh, there's four. Okay, we're going to highlight all of those again by holding down the command button. So now let's go make some sizes for those. Let's go with the width of 100. I like this to be around 29. It gives us a good distance. So let's make this first one play game. We can make the second one how to play. We'll make this one uh, settings. In settings we can um, go into our code later and we'll determine if you can put it into tilt or touch mode. That's always useful. And this one can be Hmm, I don't know. We'll figure that out later. So what I like to do is, for my layout of these things, everyone likes to do it differently. But, I don't know if you guys can recognize this, but this looks like a pretty good one. Oh, I have an idea. We can make this one the high score button. This way you can always see our score. So now we got this 
I think these are a little thick. I don't know about you guys, but we make it a height of 31. That's better. So we'll get all those together. We'll make it nice and even. 117 is good. Okay. That's pretty good. Now, what we gotta do is we just have to go into right there. And we'll actually make these guys work. New referencing outlet for the play. We're gonna have to do BTN button play. But you also have to go to the touch up inside, drag it in also, and click button clicked play. That way it stays on the home screen while the others, when you actually hit play the game, those ones go different. So we're gonna have to do that for all of them. Unfortunately, it might just take a little bit of time. It's different this time because we gotta do a little bit extra work to make sure it runs smoothly. We'll get some settings. This is working nicely. And I actually think what we're gonna do is we'll add one more button down below. Actually, I think we can pass on that. Okay. Now let's put a little score button. That way you can see what your scores as you're going. So for that, we're just gonna use a regular old label. Can't really see that because it's so dark. We'll change that writing to some white. There we go. That's better. So now we'll do is we'll just write uh do what's your score and then just write a zero after it. Put that in the top corner that way it's out of our way and we're all set right there. Uh, well, first we just have to like this into the files owner and this one's going to be the is I lbl score. All set. Okay. Now I'm debating. I can go somewhere down here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste in one of these guys. Okay, so that'll be our tilt and touch thing. We'll put that right there. Once again, new referencing out with the file loader. This one's gonna be the SE touch and tilt because this way we have a tilt and a touch button. But once again, we're also gonna have to do a little bit touching up inside. That way it knows what screen it's on. So this one's gonna be value changed because that one's always going to be changing like I said before we're just going to add one more button for a little back button so that way when you go into this tone touch mode in the settings you'll be able to get back to the home screen so we'll just title this one back center it that's close enough and we'll give that referencing outlet of button back a little bit of touching up inside Button click back. Uh, lastly, I almost forgot actually, we just need a ball. So what I'm going to use for today is this little, whoa, that came out big. We'll shrink that down so it's nice. We'll make that uh, 60 by 60. Whoa, that's still pretty big. Whoopsie. We'll make that, yeah, that's good, 32 by 32. And lastly, this is all we're going to need to do. We can go over here, new referencing outlet, drag it to files owner, and that right there is going to be the ball. And uh, yeah, I think we're all set. Let's go test it out. So make sure to save it. We'll go back over here, build and run. Wait for this to load. Oh. Slide that over. Space strip is right there. And this is what it should look like by now. So if we can go to how to play, we'll have our instructions. Settings, we'll have our tilt and touch mode. And there's our back, actually. And high score, it'll be able to display high score. So now what you can do is you can bounce around. It's nice and fun now. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Uh, rated 5, subscribe, anything else you want. Uh, I will be your friend. Check us out. Um, check us out at uh, wayofmath.com. Thank you very much.